Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button. That would help a lot. And as always, if you like this sort of thing, please give me a thumbs up and share, share, share this video. Alright, I am starting here. I um, made a pound of hamburger, fried a pound of hamburger. Then I put, I found this at the Dollar Tree. I'm hoping you can see this because it is dark. There, maybe you can see it there. It is, if you can't, it's McCormick's Taco um, Skillet Sauce. And it's no high fructo fructose corn syrup, no MSG, and no artificial flavors in this. Maybe you can see it there. And it is liquid in there. So after I fried up my hamburger and drained it, then I um, poured it into the hamburger, poured the sauce into the hamburger and uh, brought it to a boil and then I simmered it while I got everything else ready. Um, I just, I put, I have tostada shells. That I love them better than regular taco shells. Mm -hmm. Tostada just means that they're flat instead of curved like a regular taco. And I put mayonnaise on there and I use Kraft um, mayo I, I love the flavor of that stuff and I'm almost out so I didn't use as much as I normally would I usually put quite a bit of mayonnaise on there because I love the flavor of it okay so I put those on my hamburgers and the next thing I don't know what that is so I'm taking it off of there the next thing I do is um, I also have Ortega original taco sauce dang it's Let's see if we can see it a little bit better this way. Get you over the deal. Original taco sauce, and I usually buy the big jars. I love this stuff. And I have not even opened this one, so. Let's find the spot. There we go. I love the smell of this. See, I don't know. This this smells different than what I usually, because I usually use, it's like a can of water or whatever and the the packet of seasoning mix, The just the, um, uh, dry mix. Then I take, I usually take Velveeta because I'm too cheap to buy um, the shredded cheese. So I just cut it up myself. And I just used my fork here. Just in strips. And I put those. I'm only going to make one at a time. Because I don't know how much I'll eat. Because I'm. And these reheat wonderfully in the microwave so okay so that one's done and I cut up about a half an onion and put it just sliced it up in here the bottom half is the rest of the onion so I just I did wash my hands I promise and it's just me eating anyway so who cares I usually have this everywhere by the time I'm done. And then put my sauce on there. And I took pictures of everything that I did that I will insert here before I move over and start eating. Hi guys, I'm back. And I sat down in my chair now because there's no way to get you and me both in my camera on my desk. So um, here is my plate. See, I have two that I have not dressed yet because um, just in case I want to reheat them, then I'll just reheat this part and put everything else on them. And this is messy, so I'm just going to kind of put this over to the edges here. Sorry. 
I don't have too much to talk to you about except for a phone call I got about 8 o'clock this morning. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Have to have this here because it's messy and I'll get every it everywhere. Mmm. It's so good. Anyway, I got a phone call this morning about the truck stop. The HR director seemed like she was a little middle-aged lady, maybe. I don't know. And she called and asked me a bunch of questions. And she was kind of rude. She acted like she didn't like it when I told her I didn't have any management experience except for, you know, um, during tax season, which is four months long. And I managed four people. So she wasn't she wasn't a happy camper with me, the way she acted. She just acted like she was a stuck-up bitch. I'm sorry, but that's how she acted. So I said, are you the DM, the district manager then? She says, no, I'm, I'm the manager, the HR manager. I don't know if he's coming tomorrow, so they'll call you day day. So I thought, uh-huh. He's not coming. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, anyway, about 3.30 or so, I get a phone call from him, from the manager that I interviewed with to begin with, which he is a very nice man. And said, well, the direct manager, or district manager is not coming tomorrow, and I will let you know when he does come, and that will, I'll probably call you tomorrow. I think they're they're playing games with me now to tell you the honest truth. I don't know for I don't know that for a fact, but I'm I have a feeling they're playing games with me. Not there. Cuz he's not. He's a nice guy. But she is, I think. I think she made up her mind. And I was nice as could be to her. I thought I said all the right things. I told her the truth about everything, you know. Whatever she asked me. She didn't ask me anything too personal. But Who knows. And I still have not heard from the college. And it is now Wednesday night. It's been a week and a half. And I'm starting to get nervous. So if they don't call me tomorrow, I'm wondering if I should call them about tomorrow afternoon. Mm. This is always the way that I've made tacos. I don't put tomatoes on them. Get out of here. I don't put lettuce on them. All I do is mayonnaise, the meat with the sauce. Taco sauce, onions, and Velveeta cheese. That's all I've ever, however, I've made them, and they are so delicious. So delicious. And I just, I like the tostadas better. I don't know why. I have a little fruit fly flying around here, and he's about ready to die as soon as I get a hold of him. You should see, buddy. I put all my, my fixins for this on my desk. And that's usually where he lays at night and looks outside. So he is standing there looking up at that desk like, what the hell? Move this shit. <laughs> so, I'm going to put it to you guys. Should I just change this to a lifestyle channel? 
tell me what should I keep this channel for my beauty channel and then move everything else over to my other it's Connie's craft and then something I can't remember anymore but I'll probably change the name of it and and Connie's lifestyle Connie's something tell me what you, I should name it if I if you vote I want you guys to vote to keep everything here on this channel or divide it up and move some to the other channel some to this channel then if you like these things plus my beauty you'd have to be subscribed to both of us which you know I really don't care it's up to you guys you tell me keep everything here or divide it and move it to the other channel and then once that votes in then we'll talk about the name and all that kind of stuff I haven't been active on that channel for probably a year I still have like a hundred and some people on it That's my popcorn bowl. I had some popcorn last night. <laughs> it's an awful big bowl, but that's the bowl that goes over my popper. I have one of those Westinghouse or whatever it is that that's that goes around and around. And you put a little, a little oil in it and some popcorn. Over Redenbacher, baby. That's the only kind to do. I don't care for microwave popcorn, so... I don't mind it, but I like this so much better. Then I put a stick of butter on on it. And you wonder why I have this. Mmm. <laughs> So far, not so bad. I have a few onions on my other piece of meat, see? That fell off, but... So I'm watching this show. It's called uh, Naked and Afraid. Have you ever watched that? Crazy. They drop these people off. God dang, bug. They drop these people off in a jungle somewhere all over the world a man and a woman they don't know each other take all of their clothes and leave them for 20 usually 21 days I think it is he is very interested in my food and they can break one survival deal like a mosquito net or a machete a lot of them bring a machete and it just astounds me that they're they're talking to each other you know looking at each other's faces they never glance down or anything maybe they do they just don't film that part they usually sleep together in the same spot not together together and they have to kill or, or whatever get whatever they eat and they'll eat snakes and they'll eat bugs and they'll eat I did, did see one tonight where they found some what they're called water apples and one caught a duck so that was a big meal for them. Usually they lose about 15 to 25 pounds in those 21 days. This is so good. I haven't had this in so long. I was kind of hungry for it. After I saw those packets and the Dollar Tree, I'm going, wow. And actually it tastes really good. I thought it was going to be different tasting, but it's not. It's a little bit more expensive. 
probably 50 cents more expensive than the packet. And the packet, it doesn't bother me to make it by the packet. So um, I've got like four of them I'll make. And then I'll um, go back to using the packet. Mm. There goes half of my stuff. Sorry about the fingers, guys. It's a bad habit I have. Also, should I change the ch change the name of these videos to the Connie's Eating Show or, or Connie's? Or the eating show or something, you know, because I don't think it's a true mukbang because I chat too much and I don't, I don't make a ton of noise, I don't think, anyway, when I eat. I don't know. Anybody watch mukbangs and can tell me? I watch a few and they're kind of disgusting. Oh my goodness. That's enough. I couldn't eat another one. Mmm. These here will go in the fridge. And I'll make a make them up tomorrow for lunch or something. We've been at fifteen minutes anyway. So I'll let you guys go. I just wanted to tell you about that and I wanted to eat one of these at least and let me know vote stay with everything here and that means my beauty channel my mukbang my coloring videos and my paranormal book videos which I'm getting ready to start filming another series have any ideas what you want to hear You'd have to tell me tonight because I'm going to start filming here in the next day or two. And it depends. I might be working by Monday. Who knows? So then, I, then I'm going to be a little bit. i got to do things within the next couple of days to get things ready. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.